I've seen you mention in a few places the length of resume. So if we focus perhaps on commercial US companies, how long should my resume be? That's like the contentious question for the for the yeah. week. That's the, the drama question. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so so a lot of people debate that. And I'm not going to pretend to be the be all end all authority. Again, these things go in fads. So it changes over time as well. But if you've only spent a couple of years in the field, a couple few years in the field, your resume should really be one page because I have to sit there for a job posting and read 70 resumes for people. Yep. And I'm not going to read your whole resume if it's five pages long. I'm not going to do it. I don't have time. It's not because I don't like you or I don't want to give you a fair shot. I just don't have time and you're going to lose my focus. It's yep. an attention span and a time thing. So a couple, couple few years in the field, no more than one page. You start getting over like five years in the field. You've done a lot of stuff. You've done a lot of technical work and a variety of things. You've given some talks. Maybe, maybe you hit two pages then and that's okay back in front. And at that point, you're a senior enough person. I really have to delve a little bit more into your skills. So, so I'm going to read that. And then maybe you spend 25 years in the field, 20 years in the field in IT and security or whatever, and you kind of start hitting three pages and it makes sense. Maybe, okay, some people are going to be really uncomfortable with you ever hitting three pages and it should never go beyond that. But max of three pages ever from my perspective, you're going to hear max of two pages from some people as well. So again, talk to an editor, see how much of your experience really needs to be covered for the specific job you're applying for too. You know, if, if you've been doing this for as long as we have and you've yep. got, you know, your Windows NT experience, is that really relevant to have in your resume anymore? Is your job from 2005 still relevant to have in your resume for what you're applying for? It depends. You, again, you need to tailor your, the documents you're submitting for the job you're applying for. So yeah, I love that. I was going to ask you about Windows 3.1 or 3.1. Yeah, I've heard you say like if someone puts that on their, on their resume um, in your field, you're going to start grilling them on like Windows NT, Windows 3.1. I care about seeing Windows 3.1. I'm not going to trust that you still remember what you did in, in exactly. 1999. Yeah, so when do you start removing stuff? So like if I've got lots of experience and I think you've mentioned this as well, paragraph is bad, bullet points are better. And then how many bullet points would I put on and like each experience piece? Again, stylistic, your last job, rough figure about eight max your, or your current job. And then going down from there, decreasing from there to, you you know, like four jobs ago, if there's not something that's bitingly, critically relevant to the job you're applying for, maybe two bullets. So going back in time, you go from like eight bullets to like four bullets to like two bullets to maybe one bullet. And then you start considering if you need, if you even need to put that work experience after that on your, on your resume. Yeah. So less is more sometimes, right? It doesn't help to put a thousand skills because I've just, I'm just old. You've got to read it. And I've got to find the skills and the, and the experience I'm looking for in your resume. So if you're bombarded, me with everything you've ever done, it's it's really hard for me to track down like a specific technical skill I need you to have. So be careful with the noise there. That that can get a little obtuse. It, again, it's a human being that has to read this after it gets screened by a computer and an HR person. And if you make it way too verbose for what you're applying for with non-applicable skills, clearly non-applicable skills, that's just more for somebody to trudge through and it's going to be less attention spent on your resume. So rather tailor this the the resume to the organization. Like if I was going to go work for you, for the company you're at, I would make sure that I highlight stuff that's related to ICS. And you can see that in the job posting. They tell you what yeah. they want. If it's a decent company, if we're creating job postings, we tell you what we're looking for. And if you have those skills, they should be reflected on your resume. And you might find other things that are fundamentals or closely related that are relevant to put on there. But don't put something in left field on there if it has no relation to the job you're applying for. Focus on the things that are the job posting says they want.